history, coding and decoding messages has fueled wars. Take World War II. Mathematicians cracked German code created by a machine called Enigma. It's the greatest encryption device in history, and the Germans use it for all major communications. Fast forward to Arab Spring. How did protesters organize safely? Many use something called encryption. But that's also the same way terrorists might work together to plan a major attack. The whole idea is to make your messages secret. Encryption jumbles words into random numbers, letters, characters. The words only decode for the person who's meant to read them. It's this technique that sparked a debate at the highest levels of government, because the same tech that helps the good guys also shields the bad. And that tech is going mainstream. At the center of it all, this guy. We're out of food, <laughs> honestly. And the means to cook it? Yeah, we're out of stove fuel. His name is Moxie Marlin's bike. It sounds made up because, well, it is. He's a world-renowned hacker, and he's obsessed with your privacy. He won't tell you where he's from, or really anything about his past. But everyone, from secret agents to whistleblower Edward Snowden, looks to what he has to say on one topic, encryption. If I share photos online with my friends, my intention is to share it with those friends. It's not to share with, like, you know, Twitter the company, or Facebook the company, or the government. Moxie built an app called Signal that makes encryption easy to use. His tech is also used by WhatsApp, the messaging service owned by Facebook. It's actually the most popular messenger in the world. Now when people communicate with each other, those messages that they send are encrypted all the way from their device to the recipient's device. So nobody in between can see what they're saying. It's making it easier than ever to protect yourself and harder for law enforcement to crack down. Chris Inglis spent decades fighting terrorists. He was a deputy director of the NSA. Encryption is one of many ways that an adversary, whether that's a, a criminal, a terrorist, a rogue nation, one of many ways that they might use to hide their activities. Some in Washington want the ability to access encrypted conversations if there's reason to think there's a threat. Think of it as asking for a key to the locked door. I don't think you want to stamp out encryption technology. The question is, um, do, do we then try to provide some exceptional access to technologies of that sort by building in a front door under the bright light of the rule of law? For Inglis, the answer is yes. But to Moxie, that's just not possible. They're not capable of managing those secrets. You know, like they're getting hacked every day. Some folks in Washington want Silicon Valley to build secure solutions. Doesn't look like Moxie's going to be the guy for that. He plays by his own rules in a new era where tech drives the good, the bad, and in this case, the policy. We're at a moment in history where it's mostly possible for us to sort of ignore the policy discussions that are happening instead of like asking people to change the law or to change their surveillance practices or whatever. Um, we can just do it ourselves.